<sighs> Good yawn. Check out this book. It's DK, the movie book. If you know anything about me, which no one does, but then again, no one watches these videos either. If they did. If you watch this video and you've seen previous videos, you're my one fan. <laughs> Nate, no. Liam, someone, Doug. No, Doug don't watch. Doug's not articulate or literary. I'm just kidding. Alright. Well, shit. Doug, if you're watching this, I know you can't read, but since it's video, I just. Um, Alright, so. This is going to be super short, and I know it's been a long time since I've done the last one, because. Yeah, I going on. I mean, if you can see, I'm not even where I was last time I recorded. I don't even remember what book I was reading. I did a review on last. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's on there. It's probably been over a month. I don't maybe more than that. I just haven't been able to focus on reading much, and it just a lot of mental strain and shit. But I'm on the page right now. It's more than halfway through. It's at 1975 in the timeline for Jaws. This is the page. I'm actually about to turn it to right here. Picnic at Hanging Rock. I've seen that, but I don't really care about that movie that much. Oh, Peter Weir. Yes, I knew that, sort of. Okay, but let's just turn it to a random... There's like random timelines. Charlie Chaplin, German Expression. Oh, yeah, because this is Night of the Hunter uh, inspired that. Does it show it over here? No, not quite on the timeline. Let's just go. Let's start going further. Too sh I don't like these early movies. Until, like... Well, it depends, but... Really, 70s, I guess late 60s sometimes, but 70s, mid 70s, about when movies start getting getting interesting. And for me, especially the 80s, were when movies started taking off, which is there's Night of the Hunter. Speak of the speak of the devil, and he doth the bill. Robert Mitchum, you weird looking son of a bitch. Um, I don't even know if I, to, I mean I watch a ton of movies. I'm a huge movie buff, but Char oh yeah. So apparently this guy, I'll just go if I see certain things. This guy only directed one film. It'll say it in here. Uh, but even though he did see Night of the Hunter, so he's not. He's really more of an actor, but his director because he directed this specific movie they're showing. Um, but he says that, you know it's a shame that it didn't. It was because it was a good movie. It just didn't. It they made it look like a noir or whatever, and it was more of a like German expressionism horror movie or something. If I do what you tell me, will you love me? I actually sent this exact little imagery to a few people. Vertigo. Hello, hello. I'm in a place called Redacted. Alright. Oh yeah, I remember this has to do with like Muslims and or is it some yeah. Some kind of war shit. That's all that matters. Um, the Wild Bunch. I have not seen that. Not a huge Western fan. The Godfather, I've seen that. Uh, still not, I prefer, Scarface is better in my opinion. Let's go back though, because I'm about to hit the, I don't want to like spoil my stuff. Oh, your parents, so you're all, for, I have seen this, Francis Truffaut. Um, he was a critic before he was a movie maker, and then he started doing movies with his friend, uh, got it, Joe's, not, I'm saying Gaspar, Jay, what's it, the breathless guy? God damn it, I can't remember. It's, it's uh, Godard, Godard. Um, I remember reading Sorry Tarantino. I don't know about this guy though. I think uh, I could have swore Godard shit on Truffaut's movies once, but I don't know. I won't remember. Oh yeah, it's a fucking Seventh Seal. Well, I need to watch Wild Strawberries again. I haven't seen it in a long time. I don't remember. Try to watch Persona. I could a lot of these Ingmar Bergman movies. I really couldn't get into. I did like the Seventh Seal though, but. I don't know. I, don't have to, I, I might be able to get into him eventually if it's just the right time, you know. And I don't like Tarkovsky much either. I was talking to Liam about that. Pather Pancelli, have not seen that. Sunset Boulevard, have seen that. So it, it talks about how, well, obviously it's about like the, 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 the talkies versus the, you know, the silent pictures, which is also like Singing in the Rain. Singing in the Rain, of course, is going to be on it. Oh yeah, and there's cool little things like this, the white, oh yeah, the, from Rush, oh my god, that reminds me, if I can find it, let me go back, oh shit, that's about, I'm close this, see, this is how, uh, they, um, well, like, kind of in half, Angels and Monsters, 75 to 91, which seems a very arbitrary timeline, I would have 80s and 90s cinema separated, probably, and, I mean, you could almost go by a decade, but, that's not how they do it, the, the 75 starts with Jaws, I think, mean, 91, <sighs> Well, 93 was Jurassic Park, so 91. I don't know why you would end at 91. Was that uh, Terminator 2 or something? I don't know. 
Um, I think I have seen this, but I couldn't tell you much about it. Uh, Ali Fear eats the so I because I'm pretty sure I tried to binge some Rainer uh, Warner Fassbender movies and some Wim Wender movies and like various German cinema people. Oh yeah, uh, but god damn it! Well, I know what page I'm on, essentially. Uh, and here they're talking about like uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, Robert Ed's a <clears throat> Chinatown '73, I believe. If they show it. He owns the police, Evelyn Mulberry. Uh, how the, the noir conventions were overturned. It's female lead, blah blah blah, and gets. I didn't. I don't. When I watched this, I didn't think I realized how incompetent he was. I had to watch it again. No cross. I didn't remember his name. The villain. Uh, we're going. Wait, no. Did we go? Oh, we saw. Talked about the Easy Rider. So apparently, Easy Rider is a slang that means uh, uh you survive on the pro uh, the proceeds of a prostitute. So that's interesting. It says it somewhere in here. Dennis Hopper directed. What a based fellow. He played Bowser in the Mario. That's the first thing I think of is him playing. Oh, we already showed this. See, I'm just jumping around. Look, and that's uh, John Claude Van Damme. No, I'm just kidding. I forgot who this is, but it fucking looks like John Jean Martin. But it looks like fucking a uh, uh, fucking uh, way more franchised version of fucking John Claude Van Damme instead of playing the American. Which I was thinking about how ironic that was earlier. Played fucking Guile. Go home and have a family, Guile. It's difficult to or go home and be a family. The Battle of Algiers. I think that's the one we're already looking at. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Dr. Strangelove. Gotta love that one. Oh, yeah. Mike Patton. No, it's not Mike Patton. What's his name? Georgia. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, because he, he played General Patton. That's it. Okay. I was wondering why I called him Mike Patton. Mike Patton is the guy from Tears for, not Tears for Fears. Uh, God damn it. Faith no more. Alright, I'm just flipping. Well, I start hitting because I just don't. I think I have seen this one, but. Searchers. Ugh, I hate John Wayne. I like, uh, what's his name? The, the chair guy. Talks to the chair guy. He's cool. Um, Tokyo Story. I've seen that. Singing in the Rain. Sense it. Oh, we already talked about this. Alright, if we start hitting the same. This is the universe. Big, isn't it? Matter of, I don't. That is, I don't think I've seen that. But. Yeah, I just. I don't really feel like. Oh, J.G. Ballard. Oh, shit. Life. I've been meaning to read some of his works. He did, I think he wrote the story for the original Crash, the 96 version, not the stupid, uh, everyone's racist story from 2004. I remember the first time I watched Crash 2004, I probably would have said it was better than the 96 Crash, which I'm, I would be fucking retarded to say now. Um, but then I rewatched it, I was like, wow, this is awful. Casablanca. She walks into mine. Anything else? They have uh, Playtime by, what's his name? I don't remember Orson Welles. Yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling. Like, Alright, I'm just gonna cut here. I just. No, no, I haven't been in the movie in the mood to discuss a lot of books. I know that seems. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't watch these fucking things anyway. But, I mean, I'll definitely recommend this book because any DK publishing book, I don't think I've not recommended. This one, I mean, is one like Ecology. That sounds pretty fucking boring. I'd probably still read it though. Um. I just like learning shit, as long as it's informative. Man, I'll probably even read, like, the Sherlock Holmes one. I don't even give a shit about Sherlock Holmes stories, you know. Just because I love the way they're set up. But the, the, like, look at this. This is cool. It's some cool shit. I just love, like, the font and the imagery and just how it's just, like, if you just look how it, this is set up, just, like, don't you don't even have to read the shit. Just look how it's set up and the little boxes and shit. Like, it's just, I love this. I love these books. Like, so, I can always recommend DK Publishing, even if I don't have a ton of... Like, I made no notes for this, because I was just so fucking... My mental state was just so bad lately. Uh, oh, Pauline Kill, speaking of Tarantino. And, yeah. Anyway. Recommend. And, 